Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How you doing today? And we're here for the third installment, or part three, of... Uh, Papa? No, Felix, it's not that. It is this old model car. And we've got this old model car right here. And I don't know if you guys can tell a difference here, but I am shooting on a brand new camera I got. This is the first time using this one, so let's see how this turns out. A much better quality camera than I've had in the past and I want to say thank you to all of you because I got this camera because of your support my patrons what you give me everybody who has uh, bought t-shirts and mugs and of course you guys just watching clicking the like button and subscribing you are all the reason why I can get better equipment to make better videos for you with that said I just want to say thank you for that and let's uh, go on with this video and see how it turns out out with a little bit better equipment got the chassis all done and that turned out great very solid looking good but we're gonna now concentrate on this body and get it on the chassis so we're gonna put the chassis off to the side and this is where we're going so I'm gonna try not to take anything apart I don't think we need to pull bumpers off or do anything I'm not gonna re-clear Again, we're trying to just grab the essence of the original build. We just want to clean it up, make it look a little nicer. I'm just going to take water and a paper towel and uh, just clean it off with that. I'm going to try not to use any chemicals. Looks like we've got glass that's in pretty good condition. It was They were glued in good, but they're glued in with old glue. They did a nice job doing it where it didn't get too much into the visible areas. Um, I've got one little loose spot right here. We'll probably glue up, and that's about all the gluing we're doing. But there's no way I'm going to... I could. I could actually pop this out. Look at that. It's kind of breaking free right there. There. Might as well. That makes it easier to clean. Well, that worked out really good. I've got an idea for that glass then. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to be real careful. I'm going to start with water. We're just going to... We'll start cleaning up this roof. See what we can get off. I just don't want to disturb those decals. It's just a lot of light. Getting a little bit of grunge off. It's just taking a little bit of scrubbing. Just with water. I think these decals might be strong enough that if I can use maybe a plastic polish I was thinking about trying. We're just going to see how far we get on this roof. We're just going to concentrate on the roof area. Look at all that grunge we're getting off of it. I'm starting to venture onto the decal itself and it doesn't doesn't seem to be lifting. I think it's been on there for 50 years. So I think we're pretty safe just as long as you stay careful. We're still getting a lot of dirt off. No detergents. I just don't want to put any soaps or chemicals on this at this time. We don't know what kind of badness could happen. It looks like from where we're being stored, it looks like there's some blue paint marks right there. I might be able to polish those off because I've got something we're going to try. And I'm sure glad you guys are enjoying this. I'm getting such great uh, responses and comments on this uh, on this thing because I have a, quite a few models I want to do this with and a lot of models that, that are my built ups up on even on the shelf that I just kind of want to liven up a bit. I have one in particular that might be my next episode or the, within the next couple that is a model that's been on my shelf. I built it in the late 80s and I just want it to kind of look a little nicer. So we'll probably get into that too a little later. But thank you so much for your support in this. We've been scrubbing on that roof looks a little better than it was but I think we can make it even more better and so I've got a product here for cleaning plastics basically this is really designed to work on plexiglass and other plastics you know not really paint and this stuff removes scratches and cleans real well and uh, it's just a two-part system Let's shake it up they're still real good I use this on all kinds of things. I use it on my lightsaber blades <laughs> after cracking them a few times with other lightsabers. I use it because it's just like a, a plexiglass tube and and like in on my car I had a real cloudy 
gauge cluster lens and I took it all apart and this cleaned it up. I could barely see my gas gauge after I did this and that was like five years ago and it still looks great. Shaking it up. So this stuff is really awesome. It's actually designed for airplane windshields. We're going to start with number one. I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm just going to put a little on here and let's see how this does cleaning up. Oh yeah. It's getting things a little cleaner. I'm uh, hopefully it doesn't ruin that decal. I'm taking a chance, but it doesn't seem to be really affecting that decal. Those decals are really on there. I'm just trying to get rid of that smudging from sliding. It's like the old glue from the decal that kind of got squashed out and slid when they were originally put it on. You see a lot of that on here. I really am hoping to be able to get the, the those paint marks off without doing too much buffing. But you know that might be a, a thing. Take a little bit of sandpaper, which we're not too scared to do. I'm going to take my polishing cloth. This is a Micro Mesh 32. It's like usually the first micro micro uh, sanding cloth that you use in the polishing kits. And I'm going to get it a little wet and I think I'm just going to kind of work and get that blue off of there. And took it right. This actually, that with the, uh, that's the trick right there. Look at that. This could really work good here. It's taken a lot of junk off. I gotta really be careful about going over the decal with a sandpaper, but it's such a light grid. Yeah, that's just taking a lot of gunk off. Of course, with all the polishing and water and all that, it kind of loosened things up. And the, the decal still feels pretty good. Let's get a little drying action going. Yeah, it's looking really, really spectacular. Look at that. Wow. I'm really liking this. I'm going to try to get a... It's like the white plastic is starting to really come alive and you're really seeing the yellowing in the in the original decal. There's probably not much we can do about that, but... How cool is that? Might go over it. I don't know. We'll see how, how the plastic looks. I don't know if we have to go with a lighter grid of paper or polishing cloth to get rid of some of the sanding scratches. I might do that. I might just polish that up a bit. Okay, so I've got some 36 right here. We'll take 36. Get it wet. And I'm even going to take my chances. I'm going to go right over the detail. I'm just going to kind of lightly sand with these polishing cloths. I'm going to go right down the line with these things. And we got 4,000. Whew, I'm taking a big chance here, but yeah, that's, that decal's holding up, so I'm figuring what the heck. If you try doing this, just be really careful, okay? Just be real careful. Do a little test area before you just start going. See, I'm already losing a little decal, so I'm going to try to stay away from the decals. But yeah, you can really see how this roof is just coming to life compared to everything else. Get the light into that. You can see a sheen coming to it. I'm going to try to avoid going over that decal anymore. started seeing one thing come off. Don't want a chance of ruining it. That was that, and the final one, that was 6,000 grit I just did, and we're going to go with the 12,000, the final one. And then we're going to move into the some of the Novus scratch remover we've got here. Fine scratch remover. Holy cow, I can see a big difference. Let's get this. When I'm going across and I'm rubbing, I'm trying to avoid, I'm going like from the decal outward so that I don't grab a hold of the decal and peel it off. Wow, look at that. 
we're getting a really really good it's nice and smooth really good look here this is kind of a a little uh, pasty and I'm just gonna take an old sock I love using socks or if you can ever get a hold of like an old diaper like from the 60s when it, they were cloth old cloth diaper that's some of the best polishing cloths microfiber that's a big thing and I was gonna use a microfiber towel I got one right here but they just they're really coarse especially for doing this kind of stuff and they tend to grab a hold of things like I worry about it grabbing the edge of that decal and peeling it off so this old sock is just perfect for polishing up whenever I get a hole in a sock I'll put it through the wash clean it real good really really good and then I just keep it for polishing either my cars or my model cars whichever I'm gonna go a little onto the decal here because what the heck so we've got this stuff on there let's go ahead and find a clean spot and we will buff away holy cow what a difference I can feel how smooth this roof is now I was really originally just thinking of doing this with just water but I think this is the way to go through the whole body look at that we could possibly, gosh, can you see that? Can you see the difference? Look at that roof. I think that's as far as I want to take it. I don't want a chance of doing any damage to that, that number. And this is what I'm going to do. We're going to take a look at this body up close, okay? And let's get the light on there. All right, so let's take a good look at this body, what we've got to deal with, especially that trunk area. Look at compared to that roof. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and work on this thing, and we're going to we're going to repair this. I'll I'll can do that on camera. You know, just it's really just gluing it back on. I think we can really make this look a lot better than I thought we would. Oh, that's super neat. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and take care of this glass first, and then we'll I'll get to that car, and then I'll show you. So the glass. Well, I think what I'll do is I will prep the glass. Just do a cleaning with water on a paper towel. Let's just get it cleaned off. Get that 50 years of dust off that baby. 50 year, 50 year old dust. Let's get this all cleaned up. Bye bye, 50 year old dust. My trusty sock and right off the bat look it looks so much better now what we could do is we can go to our novice we'll just put some cleaner on there novice cleaner this stuff is amazing we got a few scratches I'm not gonna get too into it we'll go ahead and then do the final polishing with the scratch remover from the Novus number two oh. hey Felix how you doing oh. Felix has got a banana folks loves bananas All right just do our little And listen to commentary from Felix. He's running around my room with a banana on his head. Any of you parents out there or grandparents, you understand what's happening. <laughs> and there went the banana. All right. Whoa. How's that? Clean. Look at that. Remember, that this is all going to be under the body. There's just that small area, which we can just do a quick pop in. Remember what it looked like. So much better. Look at that. So much better. Wow. That's so neat. This is fun to do. It's just a different aspect of model building. Model rebuilding, we'll call it. 
Next, I want to show you something here. You see all that that schmutz right here from putting that decal on there from the past, and then it. You probably didn't see it back when the kid first put it on there, but over the years, it really attracted a lot of dust and build up there. And we're going to get that off of there. And I'll probably just show you guys that real quick of getting that off there. Let's see how it turns out. I'll turn the camera on a little bit just so you can see some progress go on. But there's no need to watch this entire process. You get what I'm doing. So we want to scrub off and look at that it's it's coming off pretty good so we're just gonna go ahead and get the rest of this car cleaned up and uh, now we'll just I tell you what let's do this I'll just keep the camera rolling and uh, I'll shut up work on it and we'll just put some nice music on here we go Oh, and I got to show you this. In checking this body out really close up, it kind of shows you what was going on back in the day where the whole point of the Savino's kits, they're purpose-built bodies that are supposed to be, you know, actual stock car race cars, where these were just annual street car kits. Look, it has the charger on here on the uh, B-pillar. And look at that, the... Uh, those little blinkers, the blinker lights there, indicator lights, you know, for the driver to see when Chrysler was really in doing those in those early days. And uh, they're still on this body because it's just a street car and, you know, there's no modifications to it whatsoever. So that's what's cool about the new Savino's kits is you get that 71 from now or the 73, those are designed to be like what they were racing at the time so that's that's just a cool thing i wanted to bring up and show you now back to the music
Okay, so the body is now clean. What do you think of that? I am pretty pleased with how it turned out. Really, really pleased. So let's take this hood off. Just looks spectacular. So let's go ahead and we'll put the glass back in. And we already had the glass cleaned up really good. Now normally when I do put glass in, a lot of our modern kits the way the way glass goes in, we have a separate windshield, separate back windshield, whatever you want to call it. You don't have this here. So I usually like to use a white glue or, or in testers had what I always like to use is this window maker they call it clear parts cement, which is basically like Elmer's glue or hodgepodge it's called I think. Now in the craft store you can get a lot of people use. That's all fine, you want to do that because then you don't get clouded up. But I like to take advantage of this right here since uh, it's it's away from the glass that's important. I hear someone coming to the door. I'm going to put this down here to protect now that we got that nicely buffed body and it's in nice shape. I am going to go ahead and just use some CA glue so we can do it fast. I'm just gonna take the bottle and just put a couple dabs on it like this. Spread it out. Okay. Oh, sorry, my arm in the way. And then we are going to just glue it to the ceiling. It's far enough away from the from from all of the the important parts what we see that it uh, it won't won't affect it at all. We can do that, and then we can take a little bit of accelerant and go in there and. It, puts it into place right away and we're set it's in there nice and solid beautiful look at that wow what a comparison huh holy mackerel now the best part of all we're gonna mate the chassis and the body and we're gonna have a finished model so let's go ahead and good thing these are designed to be removable bodies so you can display the chassis, the detailed chassis that MPC would create for us back then. And it's 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 sometimes a fight. Oh that 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 that's gonna fight me. Ah, I got a couple of issues here. I might have to go in this way. Ooh, I don't want to lay that down. Alright, we're gonna try this again. This just doesn't want to fit. Eh. How do we go about this? <clears throat> Gotta really stretch it to get around that firewall. 
firewall doesn't want to go in. This doesn't want to go in. <sighs> Almost there. All right, we're in. Are we, are we ready? There it is. Woo! Let's set it down. I don't think we broke anything. Let's get it down in there. I think we can get it right about there. There we go. Alrighty. And there's that. And we got ourselves a completed model. So. I'm gonna go ahead and set this on the little turntable, set up for our little viewing, and we're gonna take a look at this and finish this whole thing off. Well, there it is, it's all done. What do you think? I am super, super stoked out about this. I really enjoyed putting this together and bringing this little old model car back to life, this survivor. It's been through a lifetime, really. And there's something I want to show you here real quick as we're coming around. Look at this. I notice this as I'm cleaning. See that? There's a little paint repair there that the, the kid did. Lost a little bit of the decal. I think those kind of things are really neat. And boy, did this turn out beautiful. Really cleaned up. Really, really nice. And I, I'm just really pleased with what it looks like. Yeah, some parts are missing. And that's fine, you know. What I was wanting to do is bring this car back to its display appearance as it was after this kid finished building it in 1971. And this car has, well, model car has made it through 50 years of wherever it was stored. Yes, it fell apart, but boy, this thing made it through decades. And some may say what this car deserves is a full recondition, restore, paint, brand new decals from Mike's decals, bring it back to life that way. Well, you know, I kind of disagree. Some of you guys might know about this, but in the classic car world, the real one-to-one -one cars, there's this thing that's happened over the past decade of cars that have never been painted never been restored they might be faded dirty the paint scratch might have a ding and dent there all these imperfections warts and all but they're beautiful because it's the original paint and i have a friend of mine that has one and i've been convincing him where he wants to go get a paint job and <laughs> I, you know, there's this thing of you got to love it for what it is because they're only original once. And that goes for this, too. I really, truly believe that is some of these models, when they are rescued like this and brought back to the way they were when the child built it back in the 70s. I think this is a great historic piece here. To see what they were like back then. I, I think it has beauty in its own right. There's really no need to give this thing a fresh new paint job. Because again, it's only original once. And this is an original build. And it, it, it's, you know, just... It's so neat. I, it excites me. And that's why I enjoy doing these. And I wanted to bring this to you all. So maybe you think about that. If you get this opportunity and you see a nice built up that's you know just someone built way back in the day it's very simple it's a classic old kit think about just kind of cleaning it up and resurrecting it and putting it up on the shelf and enjoying it as that builder built it um, that is really preserving something neat about the history of our hobby and you know I, I i really dig this you could tell my enthusiasm about it and so far everything you guys have been saying um you all kind of feel the same way i think you guys are thinking this is pretty neat and boy that makes me feel great i wondered how this was going to go over and i'm going to definitely do a lot more because i have sitting over on my ready to 
restore section here on my bench. I've got a few of them that I just want to bring back to life and bring them to their glory. And you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take these things to shows and display them. And I'm gonna really, uh, you know, I want other people to enjoy them. I'm not gonna just tuck them away in my little collection. These things are cool. And um, hey, go out there and look for them and clean up and restore some old vintage buildups and just bring them back to what that builder did in honor of that builder whoever they might be and in honor of this great hobby that we love so much i want to thank you guys so much for watching and your enthusiasm in this show i'm, I'm pretty excited about it i enjoyed doing this and um, i'm glad you guys liked it thank you so much for your support and you know what we say here this is me i'm behind that camera lucas c Keep on gluing those fingers together and keep on cutting that styrene and go out and find yourself an old model to restore. Why? Because I'm telling you, from experience, it is freaking fun. Here's my producers. car and a uh, uh, uh. I used